I, I was, um, I have to say, I'm gonna read three more. Is three more cool? Yeah. You can do whatever you want forever. Okay. <laughs> People always say that, but they don't mean that. <laughs> because if I could do what I wanted forever, we would project some like acapella videos from YouTube on the like, <laughs> behind the camera. Because Hugh, would, Hugh and I would really enjoy that. <laughs> like, if this were actually my, like, we would just watch, oh we would just watch acapella videos on YouTube. <laughs> and then we would watch all of season one on Friday Night Lights. <laughs> I hope, I hope me reading poems is, is uh, yeah. an adequate thing. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I feel bad because I just read a poem in the voice of another person who was not me, and now I'm going to do it again. There are, there are several poems in my book that are in the voice of other people. I have poems in the voice of my mother who is not living. Um, my mother in conversation with my then fiance, now, now wife. Um, and there are four poems in the book that are in the voice of my barber. Um, my barber in Columbus um, had a shop for a long time, and then it, it got closed down due to gentrification. Um, it closed down this past November. And so in the book there, in each section, there is a poem in the voice of my barber, who's kind of like witnessing the neighborhood changing around him. And I'm gonna read the first one. Um, my barber says the word nigga a lot, which is funny, uh, because it's a word like I don't normally, it's not normally in my like lexicon, you know what I mean? I'll say it like, when I'm talking to my friends, but I wrote it, I wrote it a lot in the book because, like, it, I wanted to stay true to his voice. He says it a lot, and so I was like, "Yeah, I want, I want to honor that. I want to honor my barber, like speaking to me, like I'm in the room." Uh, this is the first one. This is called "Dispatches from the Black Barber Shop, Tony's Chair, 1996." We all know a couple niggas doing a bid. Derek ain't coming home for another 20 because he shot up west side Trevor's car after Trevor slapped his baby's mom. Yo, tuck your lips so I can get this beard. Anyway, <laughs> Trevor ain't die. At least not that night. But somebody gonna have to catch his ass slipping. We from the streets. We ain't just gonna let niggas put hands on women. We ain't just gonna let niggas put hands on anything. We ain't just gonna let niggas keep their hands. We all got mamas, you know. But I don't fuck with guns no more. I got babies now, you dig? Tilt your head into the light for me. Anyway, yeah, I got babies. My nigga Derek ain't gonna see his babies till they too heavy to lift, till they forget that he got a body that don't live in front of glass. Goddamn, bruh, I can't be out here like that. I gotta eat, I gotta make this money. I can't give nobody a reason to wear my face on a t-shirt, you feel me? Police already want a nigga in a metal box or a wooden box. I ain't gonna let myself get buried. I saw Derek's baby's mom on East Court right digging a hole in the mud with her bare hands till they cracked wide open, hold still. I accidentally cut a nigga yesterday because he wouldn't stop moving. The blood didn't stop for like four hours. The blood was everywhere. The blood was a river. The blood ran onto the street like that shit had legs. I ain't seen that much blood since I last fell asleep in my girl's arms. I ain't seen that much blood since my first son was born and all the dreams I've been having since. Oh. 